Grade 7 math number 9.1c using a circumference to find a radius or a diameter. We learned in the last video that if we divide the circumference of any circle by the length of its diameter, c over d, it'll be about 3.14. And this ratio is pi. It's the symbol right here, the two lines with the line on top of it. Almost like a double t, isn't it? And we can approximate it as 3.14 or as a fraction 22 over 7. And, if you remember, pi compares the circumference of a circle to the length of the diameter. It's a non-terminating decimal. There's no end to it. It doesn't terminate. And it's an irrational number that can't be written as an exact fraction. So we just use 22 over 7 as an approximate, and we use this symbol, the two wavy lines, instead of an equal sign. This means approximately. Many mathematicians have tried to compute pi, and all its digits, and so far they've passed 1 million digits. So we use 3.14, and because we're not using all of these other digits, we have to use that approximate symbol because we're not using the exact amount of pi. Nobody knows the exact amount of pi. The digits keep going on and on forever. And remember that the third month and the 14th day, March 14th, is pi day every year. So... Here's our pink circle again, but now we don't have a diameter or radius. We only know that the circumference is 32. So before, we used the formula c equals pi d and c equals 2 pi r to find the circumference, if we knew the diameter or if we knew the radius. Well, we can also use this formula to find a radius or a diameter. Flip it around. If we know the circumference. So to find the diameter when the circumference is 32, Instead of using c equals pi d, we know the circumference is 32, and because we need to find d, we need to get the d by itself. So what we do is we divide both sides by the pi symbol. And that's pretty much saying that this is going to cancel out and turn into a 1 because the numerator and denominator are the same. And then it vanishes. It becomes an invisible 1. Now we have 32 over pi, which would be 32 over 3.14, wouldn't it? It would be the same thing as 32 over 3.14. So that means we need to divide 32 by 3.14. It's the inverse of multiplication. See, the pi times d is multiplication. So to get the d by itself, we had to divide both sides by the pi and get rid of the pi. See? So, we have 32, and we're going to divide it by 3.14. So we move the decimal point two places over in pi. So we've got to move it two places over for the 32, and it becomes 3,200, 3,200. And we put the decimal point up on the top where it belongs. We do our long division, and I come up with 10.19. Now, it would have kept on going. I could have added more zeros and more zeros, but 10.19 is good enough. So we can say it's approximately 10.19 inch diameter. See? So we could say that circle is 10.19 inches in diameter. We would be able to find the radius if we knew that diameter. We could just cut the diameter measure in half, couldn't we? We could divide that by 2, and we would have the radius because the radius is half the diameter. See? All right. A toy power boat can travel 5 feet per second. If the boat was in the center of a round pond with a circumference of 628 feet, how many seconds would it take the boat to reach the shore? Wow. So here's our round pond, pond, and it's got 628 foot circumference. And this little tiny toy boat is in the center, this power boat. It's sitting right in the center, and it can go 5 feet per second once the motor starts. So it's going to run along the radius, isn't it, from the center to the edge? So... The first thing we find is the radius of the pond. So we know that the circumference is 628 feet. So we use the c equals 2 pi r. And because we're trying to find the radius, what we do is we divide both sides by 2 pi. And then that'll turn this into an invisible 1, won't it? 2 pi over 2 pi becomes a 1. The numerator and denominator are the same. So now we've got 628 divided by 2 pi. Well, we know that 2 times pi is approximately 6.28. So 
so we can divide the 628 by 6.28. All right, and then it'll equal the R, and we do, and we come up with 100. See? We move the decimal points over, and 628 goes into it 100 times. So now we know that the radius here from this point to this point is 100 feet. So if the boat can go 5 feet per second, how many seconds is it going to take it to reach the edge? Well, that's 100 feet. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And if it goes 5 feet per second, and that's 20 feet, then it's 20 seconds. Our answer is approximately 20 seconds. See? There were quite a few steps to that problem, weren't there? But do you see how I got it? I just slowly chipped away at it piece by piece. We had to find the radius first, then we had to divide the radius that we found by the 5 feet, and then we just figured per second. So it's 20 seconds. All right. Find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 78.8 feet. So now we've got the diameter that we need to find. So our C equals pi D, we're going to divide both sides of the formula by pi to turn that into a 1. Pi over pi is 1. And then the circumference is going to be divided by the 3.14, the pi. So, if the circumference is 78.8 feet, we're going to divide the 78.8 by the 3.14, and that'll tell us the diameter. So, we do our line division, and 3.14 gets its decimal point moved over behind the 4, so the 78.8 gets its decimal place moved over. We put it up on top where it belongs. Do all the long division, and I come up with 25.09. Now, it wasn't finished. But I didn't want to keep going on and on and on, and we're using approximates anyway, so it's approximately 25.09 feet. That's our answer. See? I did a little multiplication on the side to help me figure out the division. So remember, we can use 3.14 or 22 sevenths for pi if we're using a decimal or a fraction. But we need to use the symbol approximately, not an equal sign, okay? If you use an equal sign, you could get it marked wrong. It's got to be approximate because we're not, we're not multiplying or dividing by this really long number that pi represents, okay? We're going to talk about area of a circle next, and I'll see you there. Keep plugging. We'll make it. Bye.